Have you ever wondered how Kirk Hammett, the lead guitarist of Metallica, first came across his iconic Gibson Flying V guitar? Picture this, it's 1979 and a young Kirk Hammett is on a quest for a fuller sound. Inspired by the famous Flying V players he admired, he sets his sights on a Gibson. The moment he first laid eyes on it, he knew it was the one. And so, in 1979, Kirk Hammett became the proud owner of a Gibson Flying V. I, I had gotten this Gibson Flying V, and it was it was so great because it was the, it was the first time that I had a guitar that uh, I was able to like really just master, you know. Little knowing the impact it would have on his music and career. And with the Gibson Flying V in his hands, Hammett was ready to take on the world. But how did this guitar shape the sound of Metallica? Well, it all started with their debut album, Kill Em All. But with a Gibson Flying V, it was all obvious to me. You know, all the sounds were there that I wanted. The playability, the access, and, you know, the look. And, you know, for a kid, you know, playing a Flying V guitar, it's, it's like a big toy, you know? <laughs> and so I was just so happy. And then when I finally got a Marshall amp and plugged that Gibson into the Marshall amp, it was like... I was, it was complete. The sound that I was looking for was complete. The biting, aggressive sound of the Flying V was the perfect match for Metallica's raw energy. It was this album that introduced the world to the thrash metal genre, and the unique tone of Hammett's Gibson was instrumental in setting Metallica apart from the crowd. As the band progressed, so did the sound of the Flying V. On Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets, the guitar's fuller sound added depth and complexity to Metallica's music. And it sounded closer to the sound that I was trying to get, which was this like a, a more aggressive hard rock sound that I wasn't hearing in a lot of American bands at all, but I was hearing a lot in European bands, and I wanted that sound. <laughs> allowing Hammett to explore new territories of sonic aggression. It was during these formative years that the Gibson Flying V truly became an integral part of Metallica's sound. And who can forget the iconic riffs on And Justice For All and the Black Album? Each note, each chord resonates with the distinctive growl of the Flying V, creating a soundscape that is unmistakably Metallica. Yet the Gibson Flying V was not just a tool for Hammett, it was an extension of his own personality and creative vision. It allowed him to express his musical ideas in a way that was both powerful and personal, shaping not only his own sound, but also the sound of Metallica. And I wanted to take that sound and just like, you know, grab it and, and apply it to the music that I was playing with these other guys in the band. The Gibson Flying V was not just a guitar, it was an extension of Hammett himself, a tool that allowed him to express his creativity and shape the sound of Metallica. The Gibson Flying V is more than just a piece of musical equipment. It's a symbol, an icon, a part of Kirk Hammett's identity. But how has it influenced the world of heavy metal? Well, to start, the Gibson Flying V's powerful resonance and distinctive shape have become synonymous with the genre's thunderous riffs and soaring solos. Its influence has reverberated far beyond Hammett's nimble fingers, inspiring countless musicians to pick up their own Flying Vs and harness its unique sound. Bands such as Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax have all been touched by the Flying V's distinctive charm, a testament to its enduring appeal. More than that, the Flying V has become a symbol of Hammett's musical prowess and Metallica's success. It's seen as an extension of Hammett himself, a conduit through which his creative genius flows. Its sleek design and robust sound have become emblematic of the band's uncompromising approach to music, a tangible manifestation of their commitment to pushing the boundaries of heavy metal. Even today, the Gibson Flying V remains a staple in the heavy metal scene, its relevance unchallenged and its importance undiminished. It continues to inspire the next generation of musicians, its legacy intertwined with the future of the genre. 
Whether on stage or in the studio, the Gibson Flying V has left an indelible mark on the world of heavy metal, a testament to Kirk Hammett's talent and the enduring legacy of Metallica. From a simple purchase in 1979 to becoming a symbol of heavy metal, the Gibson Flying V has had an incredible journey. This legendary instrument, first acquired by Kirk Hammett, not only shaped the sound of Metallica but also had a profound influence on the entire heavy metal genre. Its rich full sound brought a unique edge to the band's music making it a key player in their success. In the hands of Kirk Hammett, the Gibson Flying V has become more than a guitar. It's a symbol of musical innovation, a testament to Hammett's talent, and an iconic piece of heavy metal history.